Hello, welcome to Bites Bread and Barbecue. My name is Ross Contino, and over the last 48 hours, I did an evaluation of Cache OS and whether it is a viable solution to Windows 10 end of life. I did this because I nine months ago, I did a series of benchmarks on various Linux distribution and their performance. I had done it to evaluate the use on possibly older machines at the time and had used an XFCE interface. Um, I had, yesterday when I made my video comparing Cache OS to the rest of the XFCE, I had used that same environment. However, those of you migrating from Windows 10 to Cache OS are likely to prefer Plasma KDE interface to resemble Windows 10. So let's take a look at what that exactly looks like. And then I'm going to do a series of comparisons between performance between XFCE and KDE Plasma, both running on Cache OS. Cache OS is a version of Linux out of Germany that was developed in 2022 and the kernel is optimized uh, for increased performance and to run on some older hardware. And when you first boot up, this is what you have. This is the most recent version of this. If we go in here, you can see that since this is a rolling release that is based on Arch systems, um, as of this date, um, 1028, 2025, I'm running KD Plasma 6.5. I have a kernel version of 6.17.5-2 Cache OS, which is the latest version, and it is using Wayland graphics. Now again, remember that when we tested XFCE, XFCE can only run on X11. This Plasma environment is actually using the new graphics platform of Wayland, which is supposed to make execution of software faster. And if we launch something like uh, Firefox here, we'll see that even in this virtual machine, that this snaps pretty quickly along here. And let's just pull up a website and see how quickly we go here. Uh, and you can see that it snaps right up, even though this is running in a virtual machine of eight gigabytes of RAM, four CPUs, and a 20 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, let's go to something with maybe a little bit more graphic display here and see if it'll pull up various headlines and you can see that i'm launching this for the first time but even you can see that this the the execution here was very very quick within the um the virtual machine um cache os on basic installation does come with a series of different software installed and this should look very familiar to any Windows 10 user. You essentially have a start button in the corner here with all of these submenus and the software it installed. Plus with the software store, which I believe is Octopi, uh, which is a um, software store that is used across various Arch GUI distributions. Uh, you can launch that and you can search for any type of software that you would want to install. Say that we went in to install the Brave browser, uh, you can search for that and you can see that it pops right up and that it pulls it from all the various repositories and you could install that onto your Cache OS. But you can see that this is running very, very snappy here. And on the lower right hand corner, these are all things that look very familiar to any Windows 10 user, your volume, your brightness, your time and date, and your various desktops. So this gives you a very, a very good feel, very much like Windows 10. Um, so let's take a look at how it performed um, versus our XFCE demonstration. So let's take a look. We're going to compare Cache OS XFCE versus the KDE Plasma. I'm trying to determine whether this is a viable solution to Windows 10 end of life. And I was comparing the two environments. In the past, I've compared a bunch of different distributions in the XFCE format. However, KDE looks more like Windows 10, and I wanted to see how that performance compared to XFCE. Um, also, uh, this is an optimized kernel, 
or older machines, so the performance is good on both of these, but we can see some differences, and I thought it'd be interesting to compare. What I did was I tested um, memory, uh, CPU, load time comparisons, and I did this with NeoFetch, uh, HTOP, uh, and we looked at load times, CPU events, CPU latency, memory events in 10 seconds, and memory latency. So each of these was run on a virtual machine within uh, KEMU. Uh, each machine had eight gigabytes of memory, four CPUs, and a 20 gigabyte hard drive. Tests were performed on a host environment of Garuda Dragonized Linux running Wayland kernel 6.17.5 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Benchmarks were done using NeoFetch, HTOP, and Sysbench on the virtual systems from the terminal. Your mileage may vary on this and your results may be different, but this was the system I used and I still think that it demonstrated the differences between the two desktop environments on the same optimized OS. So, from NeoFetch, XFCE said that it was using 805 of my 8 gigabytes. It was using 805 megabytes uh, to run the desktop environment, while KD Plasma was using 1,327. Um, this does show that KD Plasma requires more memory, um, but again, it is a, a little bit more polished and a little bit more professional looking environment, but it does consume more memory. If your older computer is limited by memory, XFCE may be a consideration. If you're looking for aesthetics and you have plenty of memory in your older computer, KD Plasma is the way to go. HTOP also gave similar results, although it demonstrated that both seem to be a little bit more efficient in the memory. Uh, XFCE coming in at 550 with KD Plasma at 1080. Um, still, these are very good results for both environments. Uh, but it does demonstrate the difference just to get the desktop environment going. Um, load time XFCE was 0 0.08 and KD Plasma 0 0.03. This is showing a very rapid load time. Lower is better here. And KD Plasma did outperform the load time. Even though it's using more memory, it seemed to get there quicker. Um, we looked at the CPU events in 10 seconds. Uh, XFCE was able to complete uh, 13,776 and KD Plasma uh, performed 13,667. Um, while the graph here makes it look like this is a big difference, I would consider this 100 point variance negligible. I would think that the CPU events for both of these using the same Linux kernel on an optimized system is essentially the same. I took Suspense and looked at the latency. Uh, XFCE was 1.07 and KD Plasma was 1.87. So you're running a bigger environment, consuming more memory. The latency of the CPU is a little bit higher for the KD Plasma. Again, we have a bigger, more sophisticated environment than the XFCE, both of which are very good distribution or uh, in desktop environments. Lower is better here and XFCE does perform faster. We also looked at uh, memory events in 10 seconds, um, and XFCE did in excess of 74 million, and KD Plasma did 73 million. Now, interestingly, if you go back to my first video from yesterday, you'll see that both of these are just heads and shoulders above all the other uh, distribution uh, XFCE desktop environments that I tested. They really performed very well here. Um, we did a memory latency test uh, in milliseconds, lower is better, XFCE was 0.4, AD Plasma was 1.08. So again, we're showing that XFCE is definitely a lighter weight environment and is demonstrating less memory latency. So my conclusion on this was that it's obvious that KD Plasma uses more memory. Uh, overall, it uses more system resources. However, when compared to other distributions, Apache OS still performs with an optimized environment. So even with Plasma OS, Apache, uh, I'm sorry, Plasma, uh, KD Plasma, Apache OS is still outperforming uh, other environments that were loaded with the lighter weight XFCE in my first video from yesterday. So my conclusion with all of this is that XFCE is definitely lighter weight and runs faster 
on any environment. However, Cache OS still with a KDE with great aesthetics and a Windows 10 look and feel still outperformed many of the other distributions with an XFCE lightweight desktop environment. Uh, I think that this does demonstrate that Cache OS is a viable alternative to end life on older computers and may make them run with a higher performance. Um, I thought that this was a very interesting comparison. If you agree, hit that like button down below. It helps me with YouTube. If you really agree, hit the subscribe button down below. And I appreciate you stopping by at Bites Bread and Barbecue. See you later.